Okay, so I finished The Marlowe Murder Club written by Robert Thorogood. This was my first book by the author, and I found it middling. Not good enough to write home about nor so bad that it's unreadable. It's just plain average. With my general thoughts out of the way, let's review this book like we always do. The Detective and the Method of Deduction, 3 out of 5. The Criminal, 3 out of 5. The Method of Crime, 3 out of 5. The detective in this story is Judith Potts, an old spinster who enjoys her daily routine and is quite content with her life. She hears a gunshot from her neighbor's house and upon searching, finds his dead body. Upon realizing that the police think of it as suicide, she decides to investigate the murder on her own. On her journey, she meets the other two protagonists, Bex, a by-the-books rule following women married to the local vicar, and Susie, a seasoned off-the-books dog walker. Together they make an unlikely team. Usually, I would have liked the novelty of this combination if I hadn't already seen similar things in other books. In my opinion, the story didn't provide anything new in terms of cast. I've met every one of these characters before in some other book. The author does try to make Judith more interesting by giving her a mysterious backstory, but in my opinion, he fails miserably. I guessed her entire history from a mile away. Besides the characterization, the author also fails to make the deduction enamoring. More often than not, the investigation follows along very simple lines of inquires that anyone could have guessed. The only reason that they progressed further than the authorities is because they can more readily hear gossips. Also, most of their breakthroughs are due to happenstance. They meet every person of interest in the mystery through sheer coincidence. At no point in the narrative do the protagonists feel smarter than the average Joe. Now, I do understand that that was the author's intention but still I feel like it could have been done better. But this is just my own personal experience. I'm sure others will enjoy the story more than me. Moving on to the villain of the story, I can't really say much about them without spoiling something. Suffice it to say that if you are familiar with a particular story of Patricia Highsmith, then you can guess the entire solution about halfway through the story. I figured everything out about 70% into the story. Also, I have a gripe with female-led stories such as this, they make it so obvious who the bad guy is. You can be sure that they will never incriminate a woman, so your suspect pool is already very limited, and you can limit it even further by how the men in the story treat their female relations. I knew the identity of the murderer as soon as they were introduced, and I figured out the method as soon as the first roadblock was discovered. I'm not trying to brag. I want to read mysteries to be surprised by the climax, to feel vindicated for the time I spent reading the book. Sadly, I couldn't find that with this book. I hope all of you have a better experience with this book. I hope you read it. It's a great cozy mystery. Can't wait to read more.